I'll just show you what I do. I'm going to ask him questions that I know he knows. So I'll ask him to back up. Back up. I'll ask him to come forward. I'll ask him to ground tie, and then I'll go right back in. Now, I meet it with the same energy he meets me. So if he pulls away and is like, I'm backing out of here, I'm running off. Well, then I'll just go at about the same energy, you know, I'll just go with him pretty quick. And then I'll put him in a circle pretty quick. Go ahead. And get him to do, go ahead. Questions I ask him. And then I'll push that hip, create some draw, come right back in, ground tie, rub him to a stop. And then I'll go right back in to say it was this hoof here. I'll just, I'll, I'll go back into trimming this hoof. So it's real simple. He just triggered a body response of relaxation. So as an example, when they start wiggling and pulling away, you know, he's not tied. He is free to go. So he's basically saying, I'm bored or I don't want to do this anymore, whatever the case. Then I have to do something to ask him, you know, become more important than what he thinks he wants to go do. I'll ask him specific questions I know he knows the answers to. Maybe at a heightened, you know, on a scale of one to 10, maybe at like a six or a seven, get his attention, bring him back to what I wanted to do, release the pressure of the question, ground high, rub him to a stop, go right back into doing what I'm doing. So when I picked up that hoof, let me see your hoof. When I picked up that hoof, had I stayed here and gone back into doing what I was doing, he'd have triggered a body response took a big deep breath, and then realized, wow, this is a lot better than going to do what I thought was important. So hopefully you've learned my five levels of horsemanship, level one through five. This is one and two, uh, level one and two. This is what we do in order to do whatever we want to do. Uh, we become more important than what they think is important, and uh, we both get what we want. So he gets to stand nice and relaxed, Get his hooves trimmed so in the long run, nice healthy hooves are going to be a benefit to him. He may not want to go through the process, but I've got to do something to help him go through the process uh, in a non-restrictive mindset, no tension in the body, and allow me to trim his hooves. Uh, I've had clients where they'll come and say, man, for, for three or four years, Every five, six, eight weeks, I've had to sedate my horse to get his hooves trimmed. The very first time that we introduced level one and two to that horse, we could trim his hooves with no sedation. So it's that powerful. It is that real. Horses understand it. People can learn it. I highly suggest you get my book, Learn Five Levels of Horsemanship.